everyone, welcome back. Today we are making our Chipotle bourbon cream chicken. It is fantastic and it highlights the Taconic Distillery's bourbon cream. This stuff is honestly so good. Take it for people who don't really drink very much, but this stuff is fantastic. This is great over ice for dessert just by itself, or you can mix it into coffee, you can mix it even probably into a strong black tea. Um, you can mix it into um, anything from milkshakes to also a sauce. So today we're gonna make our bourbon cream sauce. So here we go. Um, we started out and we have about 12 chicken thighs all ready to go prepped. Um, we are going to preheat our oven to 350, here we go, or actually, no, 375. So after we've preheated our oven, we are going to start on our sauce. So for our sauce, we're just gonna take a nice medium-sized mixing bowl, your fork, and our spices. So today I'm gonna be putting our spices in this video so that you don't have to worry if I mess it up here. Uh, at least you'll have the proper measurements in the actual video. So today we're gonna start out with mostly heaping tablespoon. We're gonna start out with a heaping tablespoon of minced onion flakes. Then we're gonna do a heaping tablespoon of onion powder. Heaping tablespoon of garlic powder. A heaping tablespoon of Southwest Chipotle seasoning. If you don't have Southwest Chipotle seasoning, you can mix um, just some little red chili flakes and some Chipotle powder um, and just kind of even it out and play with it there. But I do like a Southwestern Chipotle um, rub from Target. So if you have it and it's available in your Target, I highly recommend it because it adds really good flavor. We are going to add one heaping tablespoon of dark chili powder. Alrighty, then we're going to add, I'm like, oh, what is this? <laughs> this is the smoked paprika. I believe it was one teaspoon. We're adding two teaspoons of sugar one teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper. Then we have a medley of spices here. So our cloves, etc. Then so two tablespoons of a good balsamic vinegar. Okay. And then we're gonna do two tablespoons for added flavor. This step can be omitted if you don't love the flavor of bourbon that much. But if you do like the flavor of bourbon, I highly recommend adding two extra tablespoons of straight bourbon whiskey right to the mix. We can give it a little mixy. Next, we're gonna add more of our wet ingredients with a half a cup of olive oil. Next, we're going to add our bourbon cream from Taconic Distillery, and we're gonna add a half a cup. So here we have our lovely mix, and we're just gonna stir all the ingredients together until thoroughly blended. And it's going to be a thicker sauce. It's almost paste-like, just a little bit. It's a little bit thinner than a paste, but it is definitely a thicker barbecue sauce or just sauce in general. To spread on your chicken, I do recommend just kind of globbing it on and letting it sit there. You can let it marinate a little bit as well so that the chicken absorbs most of the flavors. Or if you're short on time, feel free to just slather it on and then pop it in the oven. So we have just a little bit reserved for later but we're gonna use most of our sauce on the 12 pieces of chicken we have here. Again, this sauce lasts in the refrigerator probably for at least two weeks. And then we're just gonna spread it right over the chicken. And then at the end, right before it's done, I like to add the rest of the sauce just so it has a nice, thick, creamy, juicy, extra bit of sauce and flavor. It has reached 375 and we're ready to put our chicken in. Hey, 
and Mel is coming to help. So we are gonna leave that in for 45 minutes and we'll check right back in a second. Alrighty, so now our lovely chicken is out of the oven and we are going to finish up our sauce. Once we're done adding our finishing bits of sauce, we are going to put it back into the oven on a high broil. And we're ready to put it back into the oven on that high broil heat for 10 minutes. We're back anyway. and we are ready to taste. Jared and I didn't come to the party prepared. No. We are in our twin outfit. Because we worked. But from work to play and delicious dinner. Thank you, sis. You're welcome, you're welcome. All right, so we are ready to taste the some of that juice. See all that steamy goodness coming off the plate. Oh yeah, baby. It's hot. It's definitely warm. Mm. Oh yeah, baby. Savory, yummy goodness. Mm -hmm. All thanks to Conciliary Bourbon Cream. Thanks so much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed this recipe. Definitely follow along for more recipes just like this. If you want to know what we did with the rest of this for our actual full dinner, check out the blog because we have those recipes as well on our blog. But again, subscribe, like, leave a comment. We thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next time, fam. Bye. Woo. Don't, don't you dare. Beatrice. Right. Um, and so <laughs> my brain's not working. It's just like, you. <laughs> it feels like I will lose it. <laughs> you like to save a little. You, you like to save a little for the end for a little extra something. something. Yeah. So we we do. We save a little bit of the sauce for the end for a little extra something something, as Jenica would say. <laughs> She's the background. <laughs>